Maybe you've heard something about the date August 21st over the past few weeks. More than likely if you live in Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, North or South Carolina, or little bits of Iowa or Montana. Why them? Well, because every one of these states will have a view to the first total solar eclipse in the United States since 1979. That's older than the Rubik's Cube and Post-it Notes. And if you're wondering about the last time a solar eclipse was visible in the U.S. from East Coast to West Coast, that hasn't happened since 1918, a few months before the end of World War I. It should be mentioned that if you live anywhere in the continental U.S., you'll be able to see at least a partial solar eclipse without even leaving your driveway. A partial eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of some of the light from the sun, but doesn't block off all the light. In this situation, you'll see a crescent of sun around a dark circle, which is the moon, and you should definitely be wearing approved protective eclipse glasses in order to see it safely. For those of you able to get to the path of the total eclipse, i.e. the 11 or so states I mentioned before, all of you definitely need to be wearing approved protective eclipse glasses. It'll be worth it. A solar eclipse is the shadowing of the sun's light by the moon as the sun, moon, and earth all line up. The shadow of the eclipse will be traveling towards you at anywhere from 1500 to 3000 miles per hour. And when you're finally standing in the middle of the shadow, when the sun is completely blocked by the moon, it will be safe to take off your protective glasses. You'll have up to two minutes to get swept up in the darkness of the total solar eclipse and to see the corona of the sun shine out from behind the moon. But no matter where you are, I hope you take advantage of this opportunity to see the sun and the moon in a completely new light.